Okay, uh... There's at least one more thing I want to do while I'm here at night time. And that's going to be the auction house. I think I still actually have two things to get here. A heart piece and a treasure chart. But it might just be the heart piece. I'm not entirely sure. It's been a while since I've been here. But, I'll check it out. Hey now, I'm a rock star. Is that what he said? No. <laughs> Alright, I'm fine with that, yeah. Let's just bid. Let's just get the bidding on, man. Don't make me bid for a stupid, like, joy pendant or something. That would just be insane. Don't want to spend my hard-earned cash on some stupid thing that I can get for literally free anywhere in the world. What do we got tonight on stock? Ooh, a heart piece. That's what I'm talking about, man. Gotta love the big unveil. It's like the bomb shoe bowling alley. Oh, and here's Sam with 90 rupees, 90, 90. Do I hear 91? 91, 91, 91, anyone, anyone? Maybe 90 and a half. 93 rupees to gummy, and oh my goodness. But, oh, Garrickson is stepping in now. He's gonna go with 99 rupees. Is someone gonna break 100 here, or are we gonna leave it at that? We've still got a lot of time, folks. Oh, but looks like, uh, who is that? It's Missy, and she's chiming in at 103, breaking the triple digit barrier. We're going strong now. We've got a good going thing here going, folks. Oh, and the beautiful Linda with 109 rupees. What a daring, bold move. Do I hear 110? 110, anyone? That's 11 times 10, if you didn't know. 112 rupees from Pompey. Oh my god, Pompey and Vera. Do you wish to quit? No, I did not press that. Not yet. We're still in the heat of the action here. We've got a heart piece on the line, and do you think I'm just going to pass that up to Mr. Chest here with 115 rupees here? No, sorry. I don't know why I'm talking another guy. I'm linked when I'm actually the auctioneer, and I'm supposed to be fair to everyone. Is it 118 rupees? 119 rupees is going up by one over the standard deviation. Oh my goodness, that didn't make any sense at all. But time is running out, dear friends. You've only got 30 seconds left to bid, because I'm pretty sure that's what that message means. Oh, what do you have, Pompey? 123 rupees. Do I hear 123 and a half? 123 and three quarters. 123 and 63.5 percent of rupee. 129 rupees. What a bold move! From who the hell was that? That was Missy. That's right. She's pretty ugly. Oh, I don't mean to be so rude. Oh, 135 rupees to Mario there. Also known as Garrickson, the esteemed Garrickson. I wonder where the esteemed Anton is tonight. Maybe he's off. I don't know. Linda's here, so he can't be playing footsie with her. Oh, no. It's 147 rupees to Linda. How are we going to handle this? This is the most intense action I've ever seen, folks. For a heart piece. For a heart piece of all things. No one else needs this except for that little man in the green hat right there. Is that the Minish Cap? I can't even tell. 151 rupees. Are we going to break 200 rupees in this whole thing? I can't, I can't even tell. Maybe we'll even break 300 rupees if we get lucky. We're going to have some big bidders here. We got 155 rupees. are going up by like two or three at a time. And uh, 161 rupees. That was six at a time. He just doubled the odds. Double the odds. Double your chances. Big, but, but no whammy. Uh, 167 rupees. I'm starting to stumble over my words. I knew that would happen eventually. There's much time left, good people. I think that's about 10 seconds. 10 seconds to go. Maybe 20. I should start actually bidding and stop focusing on this stupid ass voice. 173 rupees to Sam. Is he going to win it? Is he going to win it all? Is he going to go for all the marbles? No, Linda's stepping in with 183 rupees. Is anyone going to surpass her. Only five seconds remain, so you better mash that button as fast as you can. Three seconds of sixteen. Oh, well, how are we going to do this? We're going to go straight up. We're going to go all the way. This is for all the marbles right here. He's taken much longer than anyone else has ever taken to bid. I don't know what that's all about, but he's going to bid 200 rupees and knock everyone out of the park. Wait, no, no. It, uh, crap. He just lost. F what the fuck? No. I, I thought that was enough to stun them, but it wasn't. You bitch, Pompey! You bitch! <laughs> no! After all that crazy build-up, I got it. Easy, too easy. Oh, no. Alright, we're going all crazy this time. 250 rupees. That don't stun them. I don't know what will. That was like a 80 rupee raise there, so... Yeah, the money just stopped- just barely stopped going up after I freaking. Oh, jeez. There we go. 250 rupees for a heart piece is total chump change when you compare it to Beatles prices, like my god. Oh, I can't believe how stupid I was last time. I was just having so much fun doing that like auctioneer voice that it didn't even, it didn't even occur to me that I was supposed to be actually participating. I actually took on the persona of an auctioneer and just like expected to see someone else win, I guess. I don't know. Uh Moan. Moan, please. Oh, there is a treasure heart here. Oh my gosh, okay. Got lucky with that one. I know it could have been Joy Pendant, but that would have been sucky. But 60 rupees, that's right, because the last one was 5 rupees, That the first treasure chart. Alright, let's do this right this time. Oh, I'm going crazy. 75 rupees. Yes, 2 rupee raise. You little punk. Oh my god. <laughs> that's scary. Alright, I think I have this in the bag. No one's going to recover in 3 seconds, I hope. My gosh. And win again. Here's the auction. Here ends the auction, my bad. 
Fabulous treasure chart goes to Argon for a price of 200 rupees. I spent more on that than I would have liked to, but uh, <laughs> whatever. If it leads to a heart, I guess either way, whether it leads to a heart piece or whether it leads to a silver rupee, I'll break even, so <laughs> that's fine. In fact, at least to a heart piece, I'll more than break even. I'll frickin' increase my life capacity. How splendid for me. Okay. Uh, yes. There's actually another thing that I want to do. I, I, I told you that was the last thing I wanted to do all was night time. Well, I was lying. My bad. I'm sorry. Because there's one other thing that I want to tackle while I'm here. To, and this is actually gonna... This is kind of crazy because this, there's a really, like, minuscule side quest here. Like, you don't have to do much for it up at the lighthouse over here, but it you get two heart pieces for it. It's nuts. I Like, I don't know why they did that. I guess because, like, one of the heart pieces is actually kind of obscure to obtain. But, uh, if we talk to this guy here, I'm sure I might he might have told us this before, but just to refresh your memories, this tower was originally used as a lighthouse for, all, for Windfall Island, you know? Yeah, it used to send a bright shaft of light onto the night sea. Soft, s sort of a safety beacon. Man, I'm going... I'm going dyslexic or something. I don't even know what's happening. Even now, what's left of that lighthouse's illumination device still spins around up top all night, every night. But the, but the fire remains extinguished. It's kind of a tragedy, actually. Isn't that a sad story? Yeah, it, it kind of is. I kind of feel sympathy for the lighthouse. If that that's <laughs> how do you make someone feel sympathy for a lighthouse? That I don't even know. Especially after that one game. What? Is, oh my god, I can't remember the name of that game with the lighthouse. Like the really scary evil, demented lighthouse. I don't know. But now that we have the fire and ice arrows, we can actually do something about this lighthouse because it's torch powered. I don't know if you actually mentioned that or not, but... So, we're gonna prepare our arrow here. It's best to do this from on the ferris wheel, by the way, because that's how you get enough elevation in order to be able to hit the torch in the first place. So, holy crap! I didn't know that a torch's light could be concentrated that heavily. My god. Ow, my eyes, man. Alright, that's heart piece number one down there. And heart piece number two from this side quest is, a. Uh... Oh, man. <laughs> Look at me, I'm hopping backwards. How often do you see that happen? Shit. Okay, so, uh, after that tomfoolery, let's talk to him. Fine night, isn't it? Love how he prefaces everything he says with that. Did you see that, little man? The light in the lighthouse has been reignited. Check out the beam of light that sweeps out now, shining through the night's darkness. Seeing that brave beam fighting the gloom has made me so happy. I just feel like giving somebody a present, so here, I'm giving this to you, little man. Oh, is that actually the fourth one? Cool. <laughs> There's a pizza hard for me. Hot dog. Hot diggity dog. Now, windfall will be even more. Dude, close up much? My god. I'm staring, like, right down his nose. Okay, and to get to that chest, we're going to need to be a little bit more crafty with what we do here. Uh, well, not too much more crafty. I'm, I can assume that you probably would guess that the Deku Leaf is the answer. What? Yo, hold up. What's a kid like you doing at a time like this? Are you able to take a look at the heavens too? In that case, you'll get a better view from over here. Sure, why not? Apparently, if you look around here long enough, you can actually see like real constellations in the sky. Wait, whoa. Look at that, aren't the three sisters stars impressive? What a stellar family. I didn't know that that actually happened, that you could like look at the constellations and he'd say stuff. Oh man, can I find another one? Oh! Did you know? Like the human heart, the shape of the moon changes with time. Every night it becomes just a little bit different. Nifty. Anything else in the sky out there? Oh, there's one. Huh? Do you know what the name of that constellation is? That's the Big Dipper, ain't it? It's flipped on its side, but I recognize it. Okay, so I like to normally go from here, from because this is a pretty elevated place. I'm pretty sure you can actually just go from like right near the bomb shop over there and float all the way over. But this makes me feel slightly more epic, and I'll do whatever I can to feel more epic, because you know me. Down with LTTP, yeah, you know me. Oh, I think I changed the wind like twice there or something, that was weird. I heard like the arrow move twice. Alright, and a jump. Oh man, will I have enough magic to actually get over there? I guess we're gonna find out. And it might look like you can climb up to that island from the sea here, but uh, you can't, unfortunately. Oh yeah, I had plenty of magic. Not bad. And even though this looks like something that a treasure chart would be, and actually, it might be a treasure chart, actually. It might be a treasure chart that leads to a heart piece. But uh, I think, yeah, there it is. Beautiful, beautiful heart piece. Ha! Oh. And uh, now that that's done, there's one other, oh, look at that, there's a treasure over there handle that in a bit. 
But there's one other thing I want to do on Windfall Island here that's going to initiate a doozy of a quest. And I am so prepared for this. This is actually one of the funner quests in my mind in this entire game. 